Hello, hello. Um, this is a relationship tip today. And this one is going out to the people out there. You know, it's, it's cuffing season, you know, around October, November. Those of you who are single, what I want you to do is focus less on what you don't want and focus more on what you want. Um, I think the problem is people are so worried about getting the perfect thing you know um they're always writing don't take me on this date don't take me here i want to be treated like this um, i want this kind of experience and instead what i want you to focus on is if you and that person actually connect as individuals i think we put all of these parameters up to protect ourselves and it only makes us more and more lonely um, one of the biggest red flags is a person who has all of these expectations up front of how things should be for somebody to be with them. That's the quickest way to be alone. Now, one thing that I stress highly to people that I work with, and honestly, one of the biggest things that I talk about on my 5D Attraction channel, which is about dating relationships and things like that, is you gotta qualify. You know, and during that qualifying stage, just seeing if you and that person are compatible. It's not putting yourself on a pedestal it's not trying to act like you're holier than now and that they got to work hard to get you. You know, that's not a good frequency to operate in. It's about, do we really genuinely connect as people? Can we sit down and enjoy conversation? It doesn't matter where we are. You know, if you can enjoy conversation in a park with someone, that's just as valuable as them taking you to the best restaurant of your dreams. That's how you should really view it. And you should also pay attention to the words that they're saying. Do you all genuinely connect on subjects that are important? Um, family, um, how they view life, expectations, goals, like that's what dating and courting is all about. It's about getting to know one another and seeing if you two really are on the same page about things. But when you start paying attention to semantics and how someone caters to you and how they treat you, you got to keep in mind, somebody can treat you the best and still, you know, once they get what they want from you, just leave. You know, a woman can be super nice and then when she goes on a date with you and you take her out on a fancy date and you court her and buy her things and after that, she'll be gone. And she'll be like, all right, I got what I wanted. And then there's guys who, you know, they'll take you on the best date, take you to the restaurant you wanted to go to, buy you flowers, pick you up, have the nice car, the nice place. And then they can, you know, you can be intimate with them and whatever, and then they're gone. So I think it's very important that we put the value on the compatibility, the connection, the friendship. And then if you build a core friendship with somebody and you two really resonate, everything else will take care of itself. Um, I think people don't pay attention to building a friendship first. They want to get the ultimate date experience. Um, and that's a little bit too much in the fantasy. You gotta really see during that qualifying stage if you two connect and then magical things can happen. So pay more attention to are we genuinely compatible instead of paying attention to how they treat you or what they're doing for you, because that can be a distraction. And I, I want everyone out there to pay attention to the things that really matter so that they can have a long-term partnership. You know, I've been with my partner for seven years, going on eight years, and we still have a strong attraction and love for one another to this day. And it's because we were friends for a year before we even um, decided to be boyfriend and girlfriend, right? A lot of people marry someone in the first year I recommend the first year should just you be two people enjoying each other as friends. And then after that year, you'll have a good idea of their good side and their bad side, their romantic side and their non-romantic side. You know, you want to get a full 360 view of the person on their good days and their bad days before you d decide to dive in and have a child or a relationship or anything like that. Because that's a big um, connection. So I, I just want to put that message out there on my 5D Transformations page and 5D Attraction. But um, I'll go deeper into this, but you have to pay attention to the qualifying stage. That's the stage where you and someone meet, You there's attraction, and you two go out, hang out with one another, and talk, and get to know each other. That dating process, take your time with that. See if you two are really compatible. Don't try to be extra special for them. Don't try to perform or do anything to impress anybody. Just see, are we genuinely compatible or are we not? And everything will take care of itself.
That's my message to you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. This will also help you avoid narcissistic entanglements. Pay a close attention to the person. See, narcissists tend to overperform, act like the perfect person, give you a lot on the front end. So don't pay attention to that because that can distract you from a lot of the negative traits. Instead, pay attention to who they are as a person and if you too vibe. And that's what I'd say to you guys. Peace.